Hey, it's Jessica Goose here with RealAgriculture.com, and joining me right now is Rob Syke, who is the CEO of Dot Farm Solutions. Rob, how are you doing today? I'm great, uh, Jessica. We're in the wind here a little bit, but the storms have just come through. We got rain on the Regina Plains, and I know the Ontario guys aren't really excited about rain, but no. here, we're here, doing a happy day. Here we need it, exactly. And let's be honest, full disclosure, we did just do this interview in the tent because it was a downpour here, but uh, thankfully Mother Nature uh, wanted to see, you know, both Dot uh, and uh, its platform with not only Seedmaster, uh, but with Patterson Egg behind you uh, in yeah. the field. So that's what we're going to be talking about today is that it's really some exciting news coming from DOT this past week uh, in regards to seeded acres. So what have you guys uh, had so far? Well, we uh, we commercialized DOT. DOT, just for clarification, Jessica is named after Norbert Bougeot, the inventor's mom, Dorothy. Uh, so that's where DOT came from. And DOT went commercial this year. We had about a half dozen units that were in the Saskatchewan marketplace working on about four commercial farms. Uh, we went through uh, a cycle of activity. We started with pre-seed burn down with the Patterson Connect sprayer on the dot. Then we migrated into uh, the seeding operation with the Seedmaster. That's a 300 bushel um, Air, air, 300 bushel drill with a 30 foot seeding apparatus and so we went into seeding we seeded about uh, 5,000 acres which included farmers fields and also we did some custom fields around the Regina area to give farmers a better look at DOT. Mm -hmm. And so is those custom acres kind of more uh, are we going to be seeing these those more in the future? Yeah I think our plan is actually to uh, not only be going into a full-scale sale of DOT to farmers but also to offer DOT as a custom application service Service. So we're thinking that the uh, end of this summer we'll be rolling DOT out with a, a team and a couple of DOT units to do, uh, for example, so, uh, sowing of winter wheat mm -hmm. would make some sense. So we, we're looking at moving in that direction as well. Awesome. Uh, talk to me, I guess, about whereabouts are these plots kind of located? Is it spread out or are you roughly lo uh, local here in Saskatchewan? Oh, I mean, we're, we're rolling DOT out the first year here, so a lot of technical support was needed for our farm customers. So we had DOT located within driving distance of Regina, so call it about a, a two-hour distance around here. Mm -hmm. And so we had a lot of technicians on site. We we're really pleased with DOT's performance this year, um, but we wanted to make sure there's a lot of hand-holding too. Mm -hmm. So 5,000 seeded acres, I think that's a pretty phenomenal standpoint right as well as um, when it comes to, to you know trying new things out because dot is uh, not a baby anymore mm. it's kind of in its uh, teenage years right two years old I believe yep. has a couple implements here any kind of trials and tribulations that you guys have gone through yeah well, you know the the technology that we're working on here is, is uh, quote unquote a wicked problem I mean there's wicked challenges associated with dot but from a, from a perimeter mapping and obstacle mapping and path planning and and the missions it, it performed very well like any new piece of equipment we we had some things we didn't anticipate so we had some hydraulic hose issues and that sort of thing but overall we're really really pleased with the performance of dot uh, it ran good uh, the machine is reliable and the seating equipment really really worked well so we're giving it pretty high marks mm -hmm. and pretty precise I think I recall you saying. yeah if you've seen the videos that Norbert was posting about the path planning so dot comes down the field as it hits the uh, as it hits the the, uh, uh, the end of the field and hits the headland, it lifts up, it turns around, and then it actually lines up within sub-inch accuracy of the next path as, it, as, the, as the rank goes down to start seeding again. It's, a, it's really something to watch. The first time you see it, you go, my God, that's really something. No kidding. That yeah. is absolutely incredible. Yeah. And Precision Egg is, uh, is, is definitely well, yeah. key yeah. for the future. Now, speaking of the future, any new implements that we're going to be seeing roll out this uh, next year? Yeah, or? we have uh, several uh, shows that we're going to be featuring DOT at. So we'll be at the Ag in Motion show, we'll be at uh, Olds uh, Ag Smart, and then we'll be at the Canadian Outdoor Farm show. So Canadian Outdoor Farm show, we're hoping to have a really big surprise for the marketplace. Oh, so stay tuned. One. Okay, no. okay, stay but tuned. But at, uh, at the Ag in Motion show, we're uh, rolling out a, a partnership with New Leader, and they're one of the largest manufacturers of fertilizer spreaders. So we're going to be introducing a DOT 16 section precision variable rate fertilizer spreader for DOT. So agronomically, which I I, I like to work in, this really creates some excitement for me because we can load up DOT with uh, granular fertilizer and spread that on a variable rate mapping system 100% autonomously. It gets your mind going, doesn't it? No kidding. Yeah, yeah that's quite yeah. exciting. Well, thank you so much for your time, Rob. I really appreciate it. Yeah, great to be on Real Agriculture.